Well, so much of the Texas Panhandle coming together to support and comfort Periton, the devastation felt by many. News Channel 10's Kelsey Davis was there all day talking with volunteers and residents impacted by the devastating tornado. What you're seeing now are residents and volunteers hard at work helping the community of Perryton after Thursday's disaster. Cole Underwood was at the temporary shelter at Perryton High School all night and up early again Friday morning, making sure residents have enough basic essentials. You look around in our gyms and you look around at churches and, and people are just taking care of people and that was the biggest goal. Perryton residents are all eager to help, no questions asked. One of the best things about a small town is everybody knows everybody, so they want to take care of their friends and their friends' families, and, and that's been the, the most heartwarming thing is uh, Perryton takes care of Perryton, and that's, that's been huge for us. Kevin Britton leaped into action to help residents who were trapped in their homes. And fallen trees, fallen power lines, people are trapped in, on streets, traffic, and so trying to work my way through was just surreal. Britain says the church's building used for food distribution was destroyed by the tornado, but will continue to collect donated items at the main church. Um, our church unfortunately lost somebody who we care about de deeply, who was, who was in that building serving, and uh, they were trying to take shelter, and it just wasn't a safe place. The church is open and available for people to get the supplies they need. They're currently asking for baby products, feminine hygiene products, as well as clothing. In Perryton, Kelsey Davis, News Channel 10.